Hey guys, my name is Ashley. I'm always crafting and coming up with new ideas for DIYs to decorate my home. Now, if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe for more videos. Today I've created four different projects using a whole jumble of things. Shall we take a look? A friend of mine gave me these light fixtures and coincidentally we had them in the house in other areas. I took a couple salt lamp lights cut the lights off and then wired it into these light fixtures so they could be plugged in and turned on and off at any time. From there I went on to our local buy and swap and I found these narrow closet doors for a reasonable price. I started taking off the backs so that way once I put my light fixtures in, the wires are going to hang down in the open space and not be visible. backings are off and I've got them all cleaned up. I drew on some circles to find out where I wanted to drill holes to install my light fixtures. With some interior paint I had kicking around I gave both doors two coats. chalk paint, I went in and started giving it more of an aged look. Now I'm not being fussy here, I'm just layering it on, giving it a wipe with a wet cloth so it smushes it into those creases better, and afterwards I'm going to go over this with some white paint and clean it up. whitewash just kind of gives it more of a clean look. You can see the difference between the two right now. Once everything dried, it was time to install the light fixtures to my doors. Seeing how these are plug-in lights, you can put them anywhere. Our living room is quite dark, it actually has no light fixtures in it, so I put them behind the couch. shopping like I am this one's for you so I've got my smiling Amazon box and inside is some wrapping I laid out the 
brown paper and cut it up into strips. I tried to make them kind of even, but it doesn't really matter if they're not. From here, you want to take a piece, get the top bit crumpled up, and then you just want to start twisting it. And then you'll twist it all the way through until you have a bunch of twisted pieces. All my pieces are twisted up. I've got some shorter ones and some longer ones. I want to grab that smiling box again and take a piece of cardboard so you can make a circle. Now that I've got my circle cut out, it's time for the hot glue gun. Starting with a dab of hot glue in the center, I want to start spiraling this around to cover my piece of cardboard. You can see here I'll continue to twist the piece of paper so that way it makes a nice tight spiral. about an inch away from the edge, I'm going to start adding in those short pieces. a second layer that overlaps. this piece I continued gluing on my strips to cover up the rest of my cardboard. garbage bag of burlap table runners for five dollars from somebody's wedding. I wanted to make some placemats with these so I cut out eight pieces. I went over them all quickly with an iron just to get them as flat as possible. I'm only making four placemats so I'm double layering each one so that way it's a little bit thicker. From there, I'm just going to sew a quarter inch around each side.
go ahead and pull off all the strands now that are free and once you get one that's hooked in from where you've sewn it just give it a little snip and it blends right in edges so everything was even. strip of this vintage green ribbon just to give it a little pop of color. decided to choose an appropriate stencil. I did think about leaving it just as it is, but looked over and saw my basket of yarn and figured why not add one more thing. I left a two inch tail so that way once I made it up and back I could tie the yarn to itself. every time I go to the dollar store. These wood planks come in different shapes and sizes, and these macrame beads are always there as well, so why not make a quick riser?
right so painting beads is not the funnest thing or the easiest but i did figure out if you stick them all onto a shish kebab stick it's much easier to get them coated end up going in with one more coat of paint over the beads. Once everything was dry, I brushed on a thin layer of wax just to give it a nice sheen look. 